Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of a square plus b square if we have a function f of x equal to x square plus ax plus b and we have been given these two conditions that f of x plus 1 over x equal to f of x plus f of 1 over x and also that the roots of this function f of x equal to 0 are integers. To get a full understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for additional practice problem. So let's get started with our solution. So we want to find the value of a square plus b square. In other words, our task is to find the a value and the b value. Once we find a and b values, then we can easily find a square plus b square. And now the very first step is we have been given f of x equal to x square plus ax plus b which I have wrote down over here. And I want to call this equation as equation number 1. So the next step is going to be this one. Now let's figure out this part over here. We want to figure out this one f of x. 1 over x is going to be how much. So let's go ahead and do this thing. I'm going to write down f of 1 over x equals to simply wherever you see x you replace it by 1 over x. So this become 1 over x square plus a times 1 over x plus b. And let's uh, simplify this thing so this is going to become 1 over x square plus a over x plus b on the right hand side and this is f of 1 over x and this one this equation i want to call equation number two and in the next step we are going to find this value function of x plus 1 over x so let me write it down function of x plus 1 over x equals to so look at this equation number one wherever you see x replace it by x plus 1 over x so this simply become x plus 1 over x square plus a times x plus 1 over x and then finally plus b. And now in this next step x plus 1 over x square we're going to be using this well-known formula or the fact to expand this one. So a plus b squared equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So I want to call this x as an a and then 1 over x as a b. Then I can expand this one as I can write I can write x squared plus 2 times x plus 1 over x plus 1 over x square okay and then next one let's go ahead and distribute this one so that is a when you distribute this thing become a x plus a over x plus b now let's simplify furthermore okay over here so this simply become x square here you can see this x and x this is gone so we ended up with plus 2 plus 1 over x square plus a x plus a over x plus b on the right hand side and here we got f of x plus 1 over x on the left hand side and I want to call this equation as equation number 3. 
And now in the next step, we know that f of x plus 1 over x equal to f of x plus f of 1 over x from over here. That has been given to us. So now we can fill in the blanks over here. I can just on the left hand side, f of x plus 1 over x is simply equation number 3. I'm just going to replace it by that one. I'm going to write down x square plus 2 plus 1 over x square plus a x plus a over x plus b is this part now let's take care of this f of x so we know f of x is this part over here as you can see this one over here this is our f of x i'm going to write it down over here x square plus a x plus b and then how about this one plus we're going to be doing f of 1 over x so f of 1 over x is right up here which is this equation number 2 i'm going to replace it by this one so i'm going to say plus I'm going to write down 1 over x square plus a over x plus b. So far so good. Now what we're going to do is I am going to see over here. You can see this x square right hand side cancels out with the x square with the left hand side. This is 1 over x square is gone with the 1 x square on the right hand side. This 1b is gone with 1b. This a over x is gone with this a over x. This ax is gone with ax. Simply we ended up with b equals to 2. So I can write b equals to 2 our value. So thus this b equals to 2 is one of the value we needed now we are going to find a value and now in the next step we know that the roots of f of x equal to zero are integer that has been given over here we know that f of x equal to zero so that means our f of x is right here this part x squared plus ax plus b so i'm gonna set it equal to zero so i can write x square plus a x plus b equal to zero that means f of x equal to zero. and now we want to find the roots of this our equation x square plus a x plus b equal to zero we want to find the roots and now we will be using this fact over here it says if alpha and beta are two roots of an equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to zero this is a quadratic equation in standard form then the sum of these roots alpha plus beta equals to negative b over a and their product alpha times beta equal to c over here let's compare this our this standard equation with this given equation we can see that our here a equals to one b equals to a and c equals to b when we compare these two equations so that means our alpha plus beta is going to be negative b means b is negative a over a is 1 so that means our alpha plus beta equal to negative a all right and how about the product of this thing alpha plus beta equals to how much over here we can look at this thing c in our case is b over a is one so that is gonna give you b 
So thus we have so far we have done we figured out that the sum of the root is alpha plus beta equals to negative a and the product is alpha beta equal to b but we know that b has a value 2 isn't it we figured out so that means alpha times beta equals to 2 so that means the product of these two and one thing we know for sure that alpha and beta these two roots are integers so that means our possible integer is going to be alpha equals to 1 and beta equals to 2 and the other possibility is the other one is or alpha equals to negative 1 and beta equals to negative 2 so these are our two possibility number one is this thing alpha 1 beta 2 or alpha negative 1 and if you multiply them you're gonna get 2 right now and now I'm gonna pick this value I'm gonna pick uh, alpha equals to negative 1 and beta equals to negative 2 and plug it in this equation and see what happens we could have picked this one as well it's entirely up to you you're going to get the same answer so let's plug it in in this equation so this alpha is negative 1 and plus beta is plus beta is negative 2 equals to negative a so this is going to make negative 1 and negative 2 becomes negative 3 equals to negative a this a signs uh, these negative signs they just simply cancel out so a turns out to be 3 value and thus in our final step we want to find out a squared plus b squared and we already figured out a equals to 3 value and b equals to 2 value let's plug it in and we're going to get the final answer so a square becomes 3 square plus b is 2 square so 3 square is 9 plus b square is 4 2 square is 4 which is equal to 9 plus 4 is 13 so thus our answer turns out to be a square plus b square equal to 13 and here is your assignment can you do this one on your own you can take your time luckily I have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer and the correct way thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye